Hello guys, Adam here from Adam Option Academy. Today I'm going to explain because there was so many questions. How you watch the premium? How do you see the puts of premium is bigger than the calls of premium? How do you watch the flow? Uh, let me start here. I can watch all the flow from a website called the Unusual Wheels. That's this service or this website is help me and all the retail trader to see all the premium, especially uh, for us like a day trader. We can see the big order flow. We can see which one is bigger, the puts of premium or the calls of premium. First of all, uh, you will jump on this section, market overview. Let me explain. When you click on the market overview, we'll see something like that. You will see the red line is the puts of premium. The green line is the calls of premium. When you see the red line is something like that, you will need to understand the boots of premium is bigger than the calls of premium. When you see that the calls is, is over the red, you will understand the calls of premium is bigger than the boots of premium. When you see something like that, that means you never you have maybe to stay away. This is like a sign or something like that. This will be maybe like a chop market or something like that. At the beginning of the day, you will not see it like that. You will see only a very clear line that's uh, actually like to trade at the morning. You will see the calls or the boots of premium, which one is bigger. The second way, and actually not the second way, how you can use the market overview with the live flow, because you can't watch only the market overview. You need to watch the live flow. The live flow is coming. So you will click on live flow. You will put here SPXW. SPXW, you want to see the SPX because SPX, that means the people most of the time who uh, trade option. Then you will jump on this time. You will put it on 31. Like what is the date of today? You will double click on day like on day on today, January 31, and you will click apply. This will show you all the orders that's happening today, happening right now. On this section, you will need to hide the bit and the mid. Why are we hiding the bit? Because if you are going to open the mid, it, it's going, bit, it's going to show you the people who sell the premium. We don't want to see that actually. Because the people who buying the premium have biggest and better experience. They have better, uh, better uh, strategy. They are sure more that the market is going to move to their direction. So we don't need to see the people who selling the premium. So we want to see only the people who buy the premium. So we're going to have only the ask. This is actually doesn't matter, but only the ask. You will see this is a but, that's mean exactly right away. This is a bearish. This is a call, that's mean this is a bullish. You will see that the, uh, the, the expiration date is one date, and this is a zero day trade. You will see here the strike, buts or calls, and you will see the da date here. So do not touch anything here and jump on this. Make sure you put this on $100,000. You don't want to see that. Let me, let me delete this actually. You don't want to see all the flow. Because we don't want to see the, the, the small order flow because they are not big trader or they are not sure. Absolutely, this trader put like 3K on boots. This is absolutely not like this trader who put maybe, let me add it here, $100,000. You will see that trader on this trader here. He put four point, almost 4.200 million, 4.200,000 million. Like 400 million. This trader made almost like 10 million, 12 million. Absolutely, these traders are not like this trader. These traders are putting so much money. We need to see this trade, this trade, this kind of flow. This is like some confirmation here for our setup. Right now, let's jump more here on expiration date. We don't want to see everything because we are a day trader. We need to see what's going on here to link everything together with our chart, our setup to give us double confirmation for our setup. So we will have only today expire and next day expire one day and zero day trade expire so how actually we can use that use that when we see something like this big order flow big bullish and the overview also bullish for example here and our setup on our spy we actually bullish for the day we see apple is pushing and all the market is pushing microsoft tesla that's give us the idea that uh, not that we double confirmation for our setup even sometime before even the market starts, you have in a plan, you are bullish for the day. When you come to see the flow, this is like double your confirmation. We, you can't depend solely on the flow because uh, the flow 
can fool you a lot of time, not giving you the best strategy here, but we link everything together to have the best winning rate. And you need to understand that option trading is all about the timing. So the timing may be not be great on your usual wheels. So you need to watch the chart uh, when you are trading to enter at the best time using unusual wheels, like for a double confirmation or if you are bearish or bullish. It can help you a lot. Use it and try it and see if this is going to uh, make you a better trader, uh, make uh, your winning rate is much higher. And uh, I hope everyone finished the, the year green and wish you all the success. Make sure to subscribe and like, join us on Twitter. Uh, I'm sharing all my recap and I trade live every morning on Discord. Thank you. Bye-bye.